Hey, hi, nice to see you. It's me, Rupert Appleyard, otherwise known as Phileas Flash. And I'm hoping you saw that cool monster truck on my balloon adventures in isolation that I recorded for TV. And you've come here to learn how to do it. You see, I know that you're not all kids out there that like me. <laughs> I hope someone likes me. Um, in fact, if you do like me, do me a favor. Uh, on my YouTube channel, which is what this is on, would you mind doing me a big favor and subscribing and maybe even clicking that little bell thing. You see that one down there? He's down, just down there. Now that bell means that you'll get notifications about when I'm creating a new video. And I'm trying to do as much online content as I can right now to keep you all entertained and, and have some fun while we're all stuck inside, right? Or all safe inside, I should say. So, without further ado, uh, once you've done that, boop, boop, I'll do a dance for you while I'm waiting. I love looking all smart for these. I'm going to teach you balloons, so let's wear a suit. Uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to make today. This is brand new, something I've just come up with. It's a monster truck. Look at this. Isn't that cool? And the idea is that when I create something on my balloon adventures in isolation for TV, I'll then come along and teach it to you, or teach you some aspect uh, each week, something brand new that I've come up with out of my silly brain. And this is the one for today. I literally just came up with this, and I thought, you know what, that is super cool, and there's gonna be people at home that are gonna wanna know how to make it. So, are you ready? Well, let's get started. Now, um, I'm gonna sit this one over here, Look at that, and we're gonna make another one. <laughs> we're gonna start off with, oh, that wasn't the balloon I meant to pick up, we'll start off with that one anyway. We're gonna start off with a 350 in this case. A 350 in uh, dark blue, because I've already got a, red, got a red monster truck, haven't I? And I'm gonna put that to one side, because as I said, I didn't really want to start off with that one. <laughs> and we're gonna go to a 646. We're gonna to go to a Qualitex 646 in the same color. So in this case, dark blue, or red in that case over there. And we're gonna, we're gonna inflate it most of the way. Now this is the biggest size of twisting balloon that you can get. And uh, let's see how much of a tail we've got left on this fella. If he was fully inflated, a four finger tail. Look at that. Ooh, I'm gonna squeeze the air down a bit. And I'm gonna tie the two ends together. Now don't worry, if you're scared of 646s, we're not gonna use them that much in this particular video, and we're gonna do very simple things with them. 646s are great balloons, but yeah, you, you can't do a million advanced twists in them because they, they tend to pop if you, if you put too many twists in them. So, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. You're gonna have a shape like this, which you've tied the two ends together on. Then, squeeze, this bit and if it's nice and squishy you should have no problem just doing a little roll like that and suddenly you've got a duplex. Swimming. <laughs> Let's get another one, another 646. We're going to inflate it about the same again. I'm going to try and go through this quick because you know my little boy needs his supper and I'm gonna go and do that in a minute. So um, yeah, I've got only a few minutes to teach you how to do this. But the good thing is that you can pause it and, and watch it again, or you could watch the whole video and then go back and watch it again and I'll get a second view on my YouTube channel. All right, where was I? Ah yeah, I was stuck in my basement. <laughs> All right, so I've done this one, yeah, the same again. And we're going to make another armband, except this time, before I tie it together, I'm going to thread it through there. Ha ha! And then tie it together. So now we have one, two loops, a chain. If I can tie it together, that is. I did such a good job. Squeeze it down a little bit, that might be a good idea. And then I'll have a little bit of a nozzle, or a nodule there. Tie the two ends together. And look, that is good, you can make, if you wanted a giant chain for any apparent reason, you've got a tutorial for that as well now, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> two 
tutorials for the price of one. No. All right. So now I twist this one in just like that. So I've now got a point there. Get to the point, Phileas. Or Rupert, <laughs> depending on who you're listening to. And now, if I twist this round, you should have the basic chassis of our monster truck. Look, you can even see what it looks like in comparison to the other one. Yeah? Okay, so now, because I already have this inflated with its four-finger tail, I'm going to uh, tie the knot around one of the ends of our, our chassis. Just wrapping it around, friction should hold it in place. <laughs> I watched that Phileas Flash fellow, or that Rupert Appleyard as he likes to be called these days, and I decided all these balloons are a work of friction. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the other stuff's in the friction department. <laughs> this, this comes under non-friction. <laughs> No, no, it's really bad. Don't even make that joke. Edit it out. Edit it out. Um, all right, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to squeeze that balloon so it sits in between the others. See? I wrap that one, tie that one around a few times. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Except this time I kind of want it to sit a bit out. One side in, <laughs> one side out. Whoa, the hokey pokey. I break off the scrap. I'll tie the knot so all the air doesn't escape. Oh, clever. And then I'm just going to tie it in. Make your own conversation when I'm doing this bit. All right, and you should have now have something that looks like this. Grab a 646. Now, because we don't have silver in 646 yet, I'm gonna use gray on this one. You could use black, you could use any color you want. You could use blue again, really, but I kind of like the fact that uh, it kind of blends in to the, to the silver, or it gets lost underneath. I don't know what that part of the car is called. The bit that's underneath. All right, so take your 646, and you're going to tie that in. I mean, wow, well, technically I could have tied it into the 350 to begin with, save myself a load of effort, but you know, <laughs> it's not like I'm teaching anyone how to do this. So what I'm going to do, if I'd been clever, I would have tied the two balloons together. Yeah, look, I'm going to do that now instead. Don't matter, does it? You can, you can rewind, pretend. Pretend I did it right the first time. <laughs> so, oh, and look. That one's, well, that's a whole hand, so we'd say that's a six, six finger, six finger tail on this one. And then, I'm going to squeeze it down. I want this one kind of a bit more squishy. Squeeze it down. Wrap it around. And then, I'm going to tie this tail into this knot here. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right, I caught myself doing something and <laughs> looking down, looking down the whole time. If you're twisting balloons, have your head up high. It's a much better place to be. It looks a bit like a whale, doesn't it? Look at the pattern recognition there. My. Okay, so I've got this. That's the shape. And actually, we're doing pretty well. <laughs> but now is the time we come to the really, really hard bit. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to put this to one side next to my other monster truck. Put it just there. Uh, this is the hard bit of the balloon, to be honest. And it's going to involve this. This is a 16-inch Onyx Black Qualitex balloon. It's pretty cool and it's pretty tough. And I just so happened I had some of these that I've used before. So I had these lying around. You might not have 16 inch Qualitex balloons uh, lying around then. You know, look, it matches my suit, that's why I've got it. Um, but if you don't have these, you might have a smaller balloon, say, let's say a 11 inch, that's a common size, standard size. So with this one, I'm gonna downsize it to about 10 inches. You could always downsize to maybe eight or seven or whatever. 
I, or you could just go out and and when when the shops are open, buy some 16-inch ones like me, right? Mm. And then you maybe you get a nice suit like mine as well. <laughs> no, no one wants a nice suit like mine. So this is about a 10-inch balloon, hopefully. And I'm going to tie the knot quite loosely. <laughs> I'm going to tie the knot, but as you can see, there's a bit of space here, all right? I'm not looking for a really round, tight balloon. I'm looking for something squishy. Ooh. <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! Hey, that's quite cool, actually. Look. Sorry, sidetracked. The next thing you're going to take is one of these. This is a seven-inch chrome of the round variety in gold in this particular occasion. And I'm going to inflate that, but I'm not going to inflate that all the way either. I kind of want that squishy too. I'm going to inflate that to let's say four inches. Now this is the tough bit. I'm not going to lie. This is the bit that might give me a bit of trouble. But if it does, don't worry, because um, I've got a stunt double, and he'll come in and do it properly. <laughs> I haven't really, but I have got stunt double balloons. So luckily for me, I have some other balloons that can do this too, if this all goes horribly wrong. The other thing I've got is a little scrap just here, which I'm gonna put on top of my aircraft pump. Stay in the Give me a little moustache, or a monobrow. It's not gonna stay, I don't know why I'm doing that. Stay, stay. Very carefully balanced. Don't even breathe. Yeah, I'm going to take this balloon, I'm going to squish it up like this, and then I'm going to take uh, the knot of this balloon, and look, yeah, again, right here, the knot is at the end by the nozzle, not at the actual round of the balloon, so we've got that nice squishiness to it. And then I'm going to push the knot, I'm not going to tie them together, I'm going to push the smaller knot and the bigger knot together into the balloon, okay? And I'm going to try and capture the knot. Uh, through the other skin at the end where this balloon generally at this end of the balloon the other the direct opposite from the knot end is a bit thicker the latex just a touch now I'm going to use the edges of my fingers rather than the tips of my fingers because that will give me more uh, chance of grabbing it hang on I'll squeeze it again up let's see if this works <laughs> you might want to put your fingers in your ears right now it's not because it's going to pop it just means you don't have to listen to me <laughs> all right here we go Got it, I've got it. Yeah. Now, I've got the knot between my fingers. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm going to twist that round. Trying to twist the balloon just underneath where the knot is kind of hard to show you without losing the knot completely. But if you see when I twist. <laughs> uh, can you see that? I don't know if you can shake. Yeah, look, there's the little knot just there. And then I'm going to take that very well balanced scrap. Round of applause for the scrap, please. Take the well balanced scrap, pull my suit down so I look all smart, and I'm going to wrap the scrap a few times between the knot and the skin of the balloon, right? That's where we go. And I'll show you when I can a bit better. Just, no, I lost it. Don't lose it, don't lose it for this. Don't lose it, don't lose it, Rupert, as I like to be called now by my real name. All right, so look, can you see that there? Okay. I'm gonna tie the two ends together, if I can. That's quite lost, there's that little bit. <laughs> Just like that. Secure uh, balloon. Okay. Oh, how nice. So, this is going to be one of the four wheels of our monster truck. Now, the only thing is that, uh, well, now you've seen it. Oh, look, there I am. Now you've seen it, you don't need to see that again because, as I said, you can rewind. It will save me some time on YouTube, on valuable, valuable online time. <laughs> So the next thing we're going to do, we've got this lovely scrap sitting out the side. So I've already pre-made the other three. That's what I was going to say to you. So we'll show you how it fits together now. I'm going to take a Chrome 260 in silver. 
Ooh. One of my favourite losers is Chrome and Silver. Makes great swords, makes all sorts of cool stuff. And um, I'm going to make two little pinch twists. Pinch twist here, and a pinch twist there, just like that. Then I'll take my scrap, and as close in to that knot that's poking through the through the skin of the balloon, I'm going to tie my two pinch twists in and pull them in. It's going to be supper time soon for my little boy. I better get a move on. All right. Actually, this was Tayton's request, the monster truck. He is obsessed with monster trucks. Actually, he's probably more obsessed with having pizza now, so I, I better crack on with this. So, I'm gonna take the, uh, the chassis, and between the blue section and the gray section, I'm gonna thread the wheel, all right? I'm also, at this stage, hopefully that will work, just to get an idea, I'm gonna move those two pinch twists to the base. And I'll probably come back and do that again at the end to get it all sitting properly. But I want to measure up roughly where one goes to the other. Then I'm going to make two more pinch twists. One, two. Cool. I'm going to grab another wheel, which currently I've already made. Look at that! <laughs> and I'm going to take the scrap off that one and do the same. Now, as long as there's a knot in the end of the scrap, there's a knot on this one, but as long as there's a knot, or in this case a nozzle, they should theoretically be held by friction. So you wouldn't really have to do much else other than just wrap it, wrap it round as many times as you can. Now, let me just check. Yep, the next thing to do, now I've got two wheels on my monster truck. I'm just gonna take the remainder of this balloon, the silver, and where I decide it wants to sit, which is in this case, let's just check my original one. Yeah, look, right there. So I want about the same, and then I'm gonna break off any scrap, any excess that I've got. Okay, so I've just gone from one wheel to the other, on the other side of the, uh, of the grey balloon. So look, can you see the initial bit went through? I guess you could do that the other way, couldn't you? As I said, just invented it. <laughs> All right. So at this instance now, I'm going to take those pinch twists and face them down just so I can get a feeling of it. And now I've got two wheels on. Now they're a bit bouncy at the moment. Monster trucks do have those bouncy wheels. Look, here's the second one. We could try it the other way, couldn't we? Look at that, now we're being clever about this. Yeah, why don't we do that? <laughs> so I'm gonna measure how long I want this section first. Oh, the joy of four wheels. <laughs> four wheels, good, two wheels, bad. Weren't expecting a bit of animal farm, were you? Yeah, see, I'm all cultured, me. All right, this tutorial is dragging on much too long. Here we go. So, I'm going to take the other section of scrap, wrap that around those pinch twists again, like I did before. We're actually almost there. Not far to go now. Find my chassis. Go back to the grey section. And this time, doing it the clever way. <laughs> I'm going back underneath. That's the joy of this, this particular tutorial and all these tutorials, is I'm going to make this stuff up for the, uh, for the balloon adventures in isolation. So that means these are going to be new things. That means that you're going to see the first time I've ever taught them, as long as you remember to subscribe. That's right. Subscribe to the YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to go to roughly the same... Uh, see, it's easier the other way. I'm going to tell you now, it's easier the other way. And roughly to the same place that the first one was in. So you've got four wheels the same way. Hey, do you know something? At this stage of the balloon, I think it looks a bit like a quad. All right, so you can make it into a quad. <laughs> so all I'm doing, yet again, wrapping around those pinch twists. Trying that off to stick on my wall. Look at that! How cool is 
that instead on the wall. <laughs> Next time you watch one of these, if I've forgotten about that, you can watch and see if that's still there. Mm. It won't be. <laughs> it might, I might forget about it. <laughs> if it is, don't forget to add it in the comments. Hey, there we go, beautiful. Uh, move those pictures to the bottom. We are actually not far from being done. I've got to grab another. Whoop. There we go. Getting there, getting there. What have I done? Yeah. Next up, I'm going to grab another. How oh, I actually did hurt that time. Uh, another 260 in chrome. And I'm going to inflate it. A nice four finger tail. I like four finger tail. Not as much as I like fairy tales, though. Gonna wrap that around, the, around one of the wheels. And at this stage, if you like, by the way, and you wanted more pinch twists here, you can always add another one. Oh, you can use the chrome, right? It's the same color. So we're gonna make the under section. Oh, I wanted to show you that. Look, quad. Yeah. What did I do? What did I do? Ah, I've forgotten, I've forgotten. Hang on. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I knew I needed this balloon for something. I'm going to take it, however far I want these wheels to be spaced, that's where I'm going to just tie one wheel to another wheel on the same side. Does that make any sense? Probably not, but I will now show you what I mean by showing you what I mean. Like that, you see? So I've just run a bit across. If I look at the original, yeah, one of those to make that rectangle shape. Then I'm going to take it up into the 646s, into the central section of the 646s, and just however far it feels kind of comfortable to it, like this, I'll wind it round, wind it round, twist it round, that's the one, I'm balloon, balloon twister. Should have really worked that out. Squeeze the air down a bit and match it up with the other section. Okay. Then I'm going to take this balloon here and just run it over to that front wheel. I said we were nearly done. I wasn't telling the truth, was I? I've just tied that little bubble in like that. Peyton's going to be very hungry and I'm going to get in all sorts of trouble. And now you should have something underneath looks like that. You've got two diagonals. If I show you, if I do another one, whoop, looking for my crones. If I do another one, I can show you again. Alright, that's cool. Alright. Tell you now with four balloons. Four balloons from finishing. I'm going to leave the same kind of a length of tail because we're just basically doing the same thing again. Uh, so, the only thing I would say is that I started on this one, which has now got double, so I'm going to match it and start at the back this time, or the front, depending on which way it will be. So I go and I make that even, just to stabilise these wheels up. Oh, hang on, I've got to check it's the same length, it's not, it's got too long. <laughs> Oh, so I could just edit all this, you know, you wouldn't have to watch it live like a, I don't know, like a marathon dragon twisting thing that I just put you to a few corner rather. Uh, all right, I'm there. So I'm going to go back into this side again, trying to make it the same size as the other ones on the other side. Does that make any sense? Don't know. Don't know. And then I'm going to make another diagonal like that and bring that one up to the front as well and tie it in and now pretty much your whole base with the wheels is done all I'm going to say now is you want to turn all those pinch twists and all those bubbles as close to the bottom as you can so they're going to go down Hopefully. Maybe if we've got this one a bit loose, I'm going to tighten him up a little bit. 
a bit too late. What's going on? Happy New Year! Now oh, that worked like a charm, didn't it? Hang on a minute. Wheel! Spare wheel! Just in case you missed it earlier. <laughs> it's a baby frog. Just in case you missed it earlier, I thought I'd show you this section one more time. I take <laughs> the gold section and I stick the, uh, the black section and then I grab that knot and then I tie it around with a scrap. But in this case, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to do the cheap version, which I actually prefer, but you know. This time, I'm just going to use the pinch twists to hold on to the knot. It's a little bit tougher, but if I can do it, it's going to make it a lot tighter. A little bit tougher, I don't know about a little bit, it's a lot tougher actually. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Please don't go again, I ain't got time for it. Hey, I'm getting hungry. So this time, you see the panic sweat. I have, I've got the panic sweat now. Yay, it worked. Right, one more time, because I don't want, I want to do it all in one go to show you how it's done, because that's fun. Then I don't have to spend hours editing stuff. All right, I pull the knot through. And then take one of the pinch twists, and using force, brute force, look at this. I'm gonna wrap, ow. The pinch twists around it. Ha ha ha! concentrating face. There we go. Beautiful. Pinch twist to the base. I did it! Give me a round of applause! Pinch twist to the base on all of them, good. This should now just balance this out. Like that. Look at that, we're pretty close to being there. All right, next step is to grab a fruit. I don't know why I'm looking behind me, they're all in front of me. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Here we go. Grab a 350. <laughs> Did we get the feeling things have started going wrong? Yeah, well, my furnace is starting up in the background too now. I can hear it, I don't know if you can, hopefully not. Professional. This balloon had a little hole in it, but look, I saved it by tying a knot in it. All I'm going to do with this balloon is uh, going to wrap it one side of this to the other, one side of this, one side of the chassis to the other, tie it in a loop, okay, it's all going so well, and then I'm just going to squish it up. Like that. Okay, so now friction should be holding it in place, or holding the whole balloon in place, and I can now position it beautifully. Add a couple of little shock twists along. There we go. And it should, if you can pull it up just into that little crease, should now have the shape of the monster truck. Look, pretty good. We're pretty close and pretty dumb. The only other thing I've got to add to this is the front of it, which is these two headlights and the grill. Let's do that super fast. I'm going to need to use uh, some yellow rounds, five inch rounds. <laughs> and I'm going to underinflate them just because I like everything underinflated. I'm going to put it under my arm to make it smell better. Ooh. And I'm going to inflate my chrome. Now my chrome, I'm gonna leave quite a big tail, a, a six finger tail this time. So if you have got six fingers on one hand, that's gonna make it a lot easier for you to work out how big that tail is. Make two quick pinch twists. <laughs> Why am I deciding to do this like a live YouTube thing? I hope you're enjoying it, eh? Uh, I just think it's funny. I just think it's more funny if things go wrong. You probably disagree, but you can fast forward bits, can't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You probably fast forwarded the rest of it all the way to here or switched off by now. I know what I would have done. All I'm doing is I'm taking my little uh, round and I've 
basically just tied that in. I'm going to leave a small spacer bubble, two finger spacer bubble in this case, make a pinch twist, and then I'm going to make a loop. And I'm just going to wrap it around the base of the round, around the base of the round, right? Like this, okay? And now you've got that. Next up, I'm going to make a small eight finger bubble, make a pinch twist, and then I'm going to make a loop to match this loop I just made. All right, and that should leave this nice underinflated tail. You grab a second yellow. Make it match this one. Hey, you could put little lights in this if you like. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Or you could get a yellow one, add a clear balloon, and put the clear balloon on the outside and the yellow balloon on the inside to give it that kind of super cool headlight side. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to do this very quickly, and then we'll be all done. Make another bubble to match that first spacer bubble we made. But uh, was it two finger bubble? And then we're going to make a couple of little pinch twists. Yada yada yada, like that and break off the strap. Ooh, looked all professional for a second. Wrap it round so it doesn't get lost. Take, oh, hang on, before we do that. Decide which is the front and which is the back of your monster truck. On this one, I'm gonna go with this bit. Actually, it's the section which sticks out. Remember we had one that was flush inside and one that went over the top, <laughs> like my career. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the loop easier to fit through and I'm just gonna push it through like that right then I take the knot end I pass it through the loop the knot end of the uh, round pass it through the loop and tie it into those pinch twists like that And you get this. I mean, pretty much we're there, right? Uh, just to tidy it up, I'm gonna give it a quick grill if I can find a, another chrome. Mm -hmm. How do you make a hamburger in the jungle? Don't know. You get a beef patty and you put it on the gorilla. So uh, what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to take my uh, 260 chrome and I'm just going to wrap uh, the knot around the two pinch twists at the back of the headlight, take them across to the pinch twists at the front of the, he of the other headlight, just tying one to the other to give it a bit more security. Ah. Monster trucks! My little boy. Oh! Don't tell anyone, I told you this was real time. I could cunningly edit that out, but I would have to stand very still so you didn't know I was doing it. Tie it around and see it Whoop, there we go, better. That was a mistake. Don't do what I just did. Instead, go to that pinch twist over here. You know that, that solitary pinch twist? Yeah, that's the one you want. The one that's a bit further in from the headlight, because that's gonna make it sit much nicer. And then take it, to the other one. <laughs> it's only the second time I've ever made this. I hope you like it. I'm sure you can improve it as well. Hey, let me know in the comments if you did improve it. <laughs> I'm sure you will. And then I'm going to do it back to the other side. And I'm just going to keep making my grill here a little bit fatter, a bit like lips at the moment. But I quite liked it. I'm just going to take it up into this middle section. I quite like it. I quite like it if I take it up to the middle section, go back down. And then come back up again. And look, on this one, I actually popped the balloon on the first one I did. I can now just squeeze this up a little bit like that. And bring this in for a third. Everybody's heard about the third. Here we go. And look, now, guys, we have an awesome 
McSawson monster truck that any child would really love. I mean, I do. Oh, hang on. So, that's my monster truck. Look at that. Uh, the Rupert Appleyard Filia Splash monster truck design. Hope you enjoy it. Please, please, please do me a favour, subscribe to my YouTube, I think that's the third time I've asked you now. Hey, I've got a really good idea as well, if you do have kids, right, learn to make this and then show them my video. And then what you could do is, because I'm going to make it look like I do it magically, but you can go, anyone could do that. And then you could bring out your monster truck that you've already made for them, or you could give it to them and say, look, Phileas Flash made this for you. Isn't that a nice little idea, hey? Yeah, so subscribe and follow. Uh, that would be great if you could do that. I mean, don't literally follow me around. I mean, that's awful. Well, at least if you do, practice social distancing, okay? I've been Rupert Appleyard, aka Phileas Flash. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again soon. Yay! Monster trucks! Mm -hmm.